Yo, how's it going guys? It's Abs here and welcome back to another Gears of War lore video. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the locust tickers that are seen in the Gears of War universe. So as always, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on all post notifications so you don't miss another lore video as there are hours of lore content on my channel so you don't want to miss that. But yeah, without further ado, let's dive straight into it. So the locust tickers were creatures that were found in the hollow on Sarah. So the tickers were creatures that were found in the hollow on Sarah that the locust used as a mobile landmine by strapping emulsion tanks onto them. And the hollow was an underground tunnel network beneath the surface of Sarah that was home to indigenous subterranean creatures as well as the locust horde. Located in the crust of Sarah, the hollow is separated between the inner hollow and the outer hollow so hollow creatures like the corpses, the krill, and of course in today's video, the tickers, all lived in the hollow on Sarah. So the tickers, they were named after the ticking sound they make while scurrying across the battlefield. They are small creatures that somewhat resemble a cross between a rodent and a reptile. They're only 2 foot in length on average, so they are pretty small but they are deadly. Tickers are always seen in large numbers, and are used mainly as mines against cog vehicles. So the locust's primary use of tickers was to essentially use them as suicide bombers. However, the locust used them against cog ground troops as well, an example of this being the Cantus, which summoned two tickers at a time and used them as a last defense when under direct threat by cog units. Tickers are quick moving and relatively difficult to detect despite the sounds they emit, making them dangerous and unpredictable adversaries, especially in large groups. And due to the gas released by tickers when about to explode and the tanks mounted on their backs, it would of course be due to the emulsion that is used to cause the explosions. Tickers also have claws and they are capable of eating weapons and ammunition as well. Tickers also appear to have no eyes and this could be because they live in dark caves. In the real world, cave creatures have also evolved like this and this would explain the ticking noise they make, which is similar to how bats see in the dark by detecting objects using sound. Alternatively, it could just be their teeth clicking away given their jittery behaviour. Now we also have the wild tickers, but these are essentially normal tickers that haven't been recruited into the locust military and strapped with an emulsion tank. The main weapon of the wild tickers would be its claws, but they are considerably weak. I guess you could say these are tickers that haven't been tamed and the wild tickers would be the tickers true form of how they were in the hollow, just really small grey skinned reptile like creatures that lived in the hollow and probably scavenged around for food. The savage locust also had a ticker assembly line where they would attach tickers to a moving rail and strapping them with emulsion tanks. Many tickers were also seen in cages so the locusts didn't exactly treat the tickers well so I kind of feel bad for the little guys in a way because they were just living their life in the hollow doing their thing and locust just took them and recruited them into their military so I kind of feel bad for them in a way and there was also a cutscene where there was a group of savage locust that were watching a ticker pit fight so I guess tickers were also used for entertainment purposes for the locust horde as well but there you have it guys there's the locust tickers in the Gears of War universe explained so if you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and comment down below what do you think of the Locust Tickers and what do you think of the Gears of War lore videos that I've been creating at the moment. And subscribe if you're new to the channel so you don't miss another lore video. And be sure to check out my lore binge watch playlist where there's hours of lore content on there for you to watch. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you next time.